Novena to St. Clair Day 1 Let us begin In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen Intention As you pray for your personal intentions please pray for all the people who are making this Novena around the world O Most Holy Trinity Father, Son and Holy Spirit we praise your holy name for the wonders of grace you have worked in your servant, St. Clair. Through her powerful intercession, grant us the favors we ask for in this novena. Above all, for the grace to live and die in your most holy love as she did. Amen. O Seraphic St. Clair, most faithful disciple of the poor man of Assisi, who abandoned all riches and honours for a life of sacrifice and highest poverty. Obtain for us the grace of always submitting to the divine will and of living confidently in the providence of our Heavenly Father. Include your personal petitions here. My dear good people, Welcome! to the Navina in the honor of Saint Clair. These nine days, I will be talking to you the various aspects of Saint Clair, what she could do and what she did and how we could imitate her and that she may pray for us there from heaven. Today, we talk about St. Clair deserves the will of God. Time and again, the question comes in our mind. What is the will of God for me? What must I do to live my life? These are the questions which many people time and again ask. St. Clair also had that mind. And the thing is that she could deserve the will of God by being in the family. She belonged to a noble family, a prayerful family, a charitable family. So this aspect of being prayerful, being charitable worked on her. And this made her to deserve the will of God and to know the will of God for her. And so she could deserve the will of God by being in the family. By looking at what her mother and father is doing. By looking at the surroundings which made her to feel that God is calling her. Many a times we are confused what I need to do. So the best is be with the family. Talk to the family. Talk to your elders. Talk to the members of the church. Listen to them. And we could do that. We could be with the family. Share with the family. And live with the family. Second thing is that Listen to God's word. How many times the family prays, reads the word of God to the children. And once you read the word of God to the children, the word of God speaks what God wants. Then the other aspect is prayer. The family that prays together stays together and in that prayer of the family, God's will is discerned. The other thing is that the Eucharist participating in the daily Mass. So that during the Mass, you have the word of God being preached and proclaimed and you share in the body and blood of Christ. That makes you to discern God's will. So my dear people, good people, St. Clair deserved the will of God by being with the family, by praying, by doing charity,
by attending the mass and by reading the Bible. So also if we do all these things, surely we will come to know what God wants us to do. The Lord be with you. And through the intercession of sin, Claire, may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son. Pray for us, Saint Claire, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. We pray you, Lord our God, grant to us, your servants, who celebrate the feast of Saint Claire, your Virgin, that through her intercession we become partakers of the joys of heaven and co with your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.